Hi, this is Dr. O'Connor. Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. Here we have a problem, and we're told that benzoic acid is used to calibrate a bond calorimeter. So here we have the formula for benzoic acid. We also have the enthalpy change. Okay, remember, benzoic acid is being burned in the calorimeter, so there's going to be a release of heat. So the enthalpy change for the combustion is given right here. Now, we have a 1.221 gram sample of benzoic acid, and we're given the heat capacity of the calorimeter, and we're told that the calorimeter also contains 1.2 kilograms of water. So they're asking, what is the temperature change? Okay, before we do anything, I am going to abbreviate benzoic acid as BA, that way we don't have to keep writing it out. So, well, I have to realize that the heat of the reaction, the heat released in the reaction, is going to equal the heat absorbed by the water, right, plus the calorimeter. Okay, so I have that. Now, I can determine the heat of the reaction right now because I have the mass of the benzoic acid, and I also have the enthalpy change. So let's go ahead and calculate that. And what do we have? 1.221 grams of benzoic acid. And let's go ahead and convert that to moles. So one mole of benzoic acid is 122.12 grams. Now, from this information here, I know that one mole of benzoic acid, when it's burned, will produce a negative 3,227 3, kilojoules, okay? So it's releasing 3,227 kilojoules of heat. And then finally, what I'm going to need to do is convert kilojoules to joules. So now I'm all set. Let me go ahead and calculate this. I get 3.22647. Yeah, let me erase that. Doesn't look so good. Joules. Okay, so we have our heat of the reaction. So what's left is we have to find this and this. So that's easily done. The uh, heat absorbed by the water is going to be equal to the specific heat capacity of the water times the mass times delta T. Now, we don't have any uh, temperature information. We are being asked to find the temperature change, or delta T, if you will. So the heat capacity of water is 4.184 joules per degree Celsius times mass. And the mass of the water it's 1.2 kilograms, which is the same as 1,200 grams. And then we'll just multiply that by delta T. So let me continue this here. We'll go ahead and multiply these two terms together, and we end up with 5,020 joules times delta T. Okay? So we have this part finished. So now let's go ahead and determine the heat absorbed by the calorimeter. So the calorimeter then, uh, the heat absorbed by the calorimeter is going to be equal to the heat capacity of the calorimeter times the temperature change, or delta T. So we have that, the heat capacity times delta T, and we have 1,365 joules times delta T. Okay, so we're all set here. We have both of these, and we also have this value here. So let's go ahead and plug into this equation. So we determined the um, heat released to be 3.22647 joules, and we'll set that equal then to this. So the um, heat, 
that the water absorbs would be 5,020.8 joules times delta T plus the heat absorbed by the uh, calorimeter, which would be 1,365 joules times delta T. Okay. So let's go ahead then and solve for delta T. So we do some rearrangement here. here we have 3.22647 joules is equal to, we can just add these terms together, and what do we end up with? 6,385.8 times delta T. So if we, we go ahead and divide both sides by this term, and we end up with delta T equal to 5.053 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all we were asked for in the problem, just the temperature change. So we are finished.